Hello YouTube, Falco2762 here, and in this video I'm about to show you um, a little computer issue that I have with my, yeah, computer. Um, if you are a babe leader and you're watching this, please get out of here because this is not like really for you, but you are more than welcome to watch this and learn. Um, anyway, um, here's the story. I've been playing this, this game right over here, Impressive World, and th th this was the previous game, okay? So this was like made in 2009 or what whatnot. Here's like the Red Ring setup screen and you start and blah, blah, blah. And, and it works perfectly on my computer, okay? This is just a game. It's from Russia. You can download it. Free download, duh. Um, yeah, you just need good computer specs and that's all. Uh, it does perfectly work on my computer. There's no problems at all since it's like really really old and whatnot, but um, if we exit out of here and go to Google Chrome, which my uh, lock, uh, taskbar is currently locked because of the virus, um, I might have to go physically on desktop over here. Uh, I downloaded the new version called Impressive Space, so we can go to Google Chrome. Um, Google.com, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, and please ignore those two flashing orange icons because I cannot click on them, and I'll tell you what happened. Um, okay, impressive... No, not with a B. Space, a virus. Um, yeah, let's just, uh... Get rid of that, so sorry. And, yeah, my web root's saying that's, uh, like, really malicious or whatnot. Um, yeah, this is the uh, website. Go ahead and... Go ahead and download it if you like, but when I, when I first downloaded it, on my computer, I clicked to download setup file, they forced me to, um, yeah, they forced me to uh, save the, all the installation files on a separate drive, and I happened to uh, install it on an 8 gigabyte flash drive, which was my mistake, because the installation files were too big, and when the game was uh, updating its files, and whatnot. I kept on getting error messages due to my weak specs, yeah, Intel Core i3. So I moved to my Acer computer, which I'll show it to you in a little bit. Okay guys, I got my lovely Acer computer sitting right here on my table. Um, yeah, I decided to go to this laptop because it had much better specs, so yeah, let's open it. Now before I turned this laptop on, I played it uh, twi twice on this computer and it worked well. Until I downloaded an audio software program, I mean like a recording, audio, streaming program, whatever. And I decided to run while the game was loading. That caused my computer to have a blue screen of death. I'm gonna power it on now and see what happens. Yeah, it's going to... It's gonna any second now. But it only appears after the login screen, so please bear with that. It doesn't interrupt the boot sequence or anything like that. That's all I know. And this runs an SSD, that's why you see it. Uh, yeah, please stare at my other computer while I turn the password. Okay. In any time now, even if you don't do anything at the desktop, it'll just appear. If you click on something, like uh, remove, uninstall the program, wherever, I delete it from the desktop. I just need to delete it from the local drive, but I can't because the BSOD. And anytime it might like do anything, ignore Skype. That's like a startup program. Who cares about Skype? Um, yeah, anytime it's just gonna appear. That's all. And also, I tried doing a system restore, but that won't let me do it. So yeah, it's just gonna. So like for example, if I go to File Explorer or something, you'll see it anytime. Like if I click at a random. Uh, like downloads or something, or uh, if I go to uh, the local disk and I go to program files, and oh, and I also can't uh, roll back the NVIDIA driver, so that's really a problem. I just can't upgrade program files. Essentially, my uh, taskbar is not locked, so that's pretty good. It's supposed to appear any time now. Just wait. I have no idea why when it's not going to appear. I'll just jump cut to when it's going to appear. Anytime now. Huh, that's strange. It's supposed to appear anytime. Did it go away magically? Don't tell me. Okay, let us try system restore and see what happens. And let me go to like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, control panel or something. Um, programs. Oh, there we go. There we go. Haha. Uh -huh. 
I told you, your PC ran into a problem, blah, blah, blah. And it's a IRQL uh, lesser or equal. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's all. And then it restarts. So, yeah. Any, 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 please, any solutions on this? So that I can really fix this, because I just destroyed a $700 laptop. <laughs> yeah. So, that's all I have to say. So, shut down. That's really all, that's all I have to say about this. Coming back to my, uh, other computer, um, I actually turned it on, and I found out right over here that my taskbar is locked, and I cannot dislock, I mean, I cannot unlock it or anything like that. Right click on it and empty space and click, oh, unlock the taskbar. No, I cannot do that. There's, uh, strangely two blinking icons of the same thing, and, yeah, that is one of my startup programs. Um, ignore the bandy cam. And I currently, yeah, you guys get the idea. Uh, the only way I can click the start button is on my keyboard. I cannot, like, do anything on the taskbar or anything like that. Uh, however, I can't search for something, so that's pretty cool. Um, no, uh, ignore Cortona. But anyway, guys, um, if I go to File Explorer right over here, uh, I did, I did, I did remove the, um, the program, but if I go to my local disk, oh, and please beware, there is no BSOD that occurs on this computer, okay, because no matter what I click on here, it does not, it doesn't, yeah, win RE backup partition now, uh, yeah, this Windows 10 upgrade is maybe, maybe, maybe a... Yeah, I can't even delete it because I need to be an administrator. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, that's pretty good. So, that's pretty cool. But that still doesn't uh, solve my issue on the lock taskbar thing. Uh, I tried everything, guys. Um, I tried to delete whatever, and I even uh, deleted uh, deleted the game from both of my computers. And I still don't know what's happening, okay? So, any help would be appreciated. Remember, virus locked my taskbar in Windows 10. And, yeah, that's all I have to say, guys. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll subscribe back to you. Um, don't forget to put this on English on my captions. I don't have a virtual finger to point it, but, yeah, whatever. And, yeah, bye, guys. Falcatoon.